Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today Apple released iOS 11.4 Beta 6. Now this was really unexpected, it's still not available over the air at the time I'm recording this for some reason, and I was able to install it using iTunes, so if you download the IPSW file from the developer portal, and then you go to iTunes and you hold Shift and click Update, or you hold uh, Alt or control and hit update depending on which device you're on it will pop up and let you select that file and install it without wiping everything out so that's what I did to update this one so let's take a look at the build number now it was really large it was about three gigabytes because you're doing it through iTunes now this build number is very close to the previous one it's 15 f 5079 a the previous one was 77 a so I would expect that we're going to see another one probably on the 21st or somewhere around here. It's kind of strange now that Apple's releasing these all over the place. It's really hard to say when they're actually going to release them, but we're not going to see it on Memorial Day weekend here in the United States, so probably still June 4th for a public release, but who knows at this point. Now this one, I was able to find that they didn't actually fix that notification bug that we have with FaceTime. So if you go to FaceTime, you go here, go to show his banners, turn it off it crashes every single time it's still not fixed i reported it and i know some of you have as well there's nothing else in here although it feels very fast and fluid 3d touch is working great uh, the rotation bug that was here seems like it's gone they did fix the bug that we had previously in messages with those symbols and also the volume down here is working properly so everything seems to be working as planned maybe there was something minor they fixed in the background we don't know at this point and we don't expect any new features at this point we're just waiting for the final release and then for them to show us iOS 12 and all those new features on June 4th I did do a Geekbench on this the Geekbench is actually pretty good 4223 and 10330 for multi-core if we look at the history you'll see we're pretty close here right about the same on both of them so you can see right here uh, we're we're doing pretty good a little bit faster than before and like I said everything feels fast and fluid now it will take a few days to know how battery is before and quite honestly I was about ready to record my follow-up video for beta 5 and they released this one as I said I was going to do that beta follow-up but instead this beta came out now I did take some screenshots of the battery life on beta 5 and they're actually pretty good eight hours and one minutes usage 18 hours and 20 minutes of standby not as good as the previous beta for me but pretty good and that's at 14 percent not charging it all day long so it's pretty good overall and there's not much more to talk about we're waiting for the next beta I'll do a follow-up and I'll be sure to do the surveys on Twitter and on YouTube thanks for everyone that responded on that one unfortunately beta 6 came out but that's good since they're squishing all these bugs at this point what they are though they haven't said and in the notes they haven't updated anything either let me know if you've found anything in the comments below and also if you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper I'll link it in the description as I always do if you haven't subscribed already please subscribe and like as always thanks for watching this is Aaron I'll see you next time